saw that too. Yeah, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to The Creative Contrast. My name is David J. Fulda. And I'm John Carlo Powleg, better known as GC. And today we're joined by the wonderful Shelly. Hi. Awesome, and where can they follow you? At Shelly on Instagram. In today's video, we're gonna be showcasing examples of different lighting setups with one light so that when you're crunched for time, you can get through as many different looks as possible with as few elaborate setups as possible. What David and I will be doing is we'll each be taking turns with Shelly, our wonderful model, and we're going to be doing two hard light setups, two soft light setups. Now, you don't need elaborate gear or anything fancy. Uh, a simple strobe, a speed light can do. Um, and the purpose of showing the hard light and the soft light is you get two very unique looks uh, with, for the model in the portfolio. One that's a bit soft on the face, on the skin, uh, wrinkles, things to that effect, and that's using a modifier for soft lights. And the other one will be a hard light. And for this, we're just using the standard reflector on the actual monolights. And that gives it a little more of a punchy, edgier, fashion-y look. Now, for this video, we are using Braun Color Cirrus Ls. You do not need high-end gear. It's just what we have on hand today. So that's what we're using. We do have video plan in the future. We will be showcasing these expensive lights versus a lot cheaper lights, as well as cheap camera versus expensive camera at the same time. But that's for another video. The techniques that we'll be teaching you today are quite broad stroke, so whether you're using our expensive Broncolor Cirrus L or speed lights, which is what I usually use, these are equally applicable to your own personal workflow. The magic of using a single light rather than you know three or four different lights is you can very quickly iterate and evolve your lighting setup so that you can get lots of different looks in a very compressed amount of time because sometimes you don't have the luxury of an entire afternoon to build a model's book. Sometimes you only have an hour or two. Now for variety's sake, John Carlo's gonna be doing a hard light setup and then I'm going to be doing a soft light setup and then I'll be doing a hard light setup and John Carlo will be doing a soft light setup. Let's get started. So as you can see with our first lighting setup, we have the Cirrus L set up on the Super Boom. No modifiers, just the reflector that comes with the light. Straight down over Shelly, and you can see it gives us a nice, dramatic look. And the good thing that I love about Hard Light is it really carves out angles. So Shelly's jawline, beautiful jawline by the way, it really just carves that out. It gives a nice little dramatic sort of fashion look. And then after that, you can see I pull out the black V flat that we made in a previous episode. And I have the Cirrus L in the beauty box almost beside Shelly so that when she turns, it's almost like a Rembrandt coming from behind. The reason why I have the black V-flat is two reasons. For one, it really cuts those shadows down, reduces fill, and for two, my next setup, I wanted a black backdrop. So by pre-preparing that, it saves us a lot of time. Then we had Shelly change her outfit, and then I went to my second setup with the hard light directly in front of her. And so for my soft light setup, I went with a clamshell. You can do this with one light, as I did, with one light coming from above, and I used a reflector, a silver reflector, underneath just to sort of lift those shadows underneath Shelly. The lighting, in general, created really soft light, uh, which complemented the Shelly and gave it a bit of a pop modern look. So as you can see, with just a little bit of time and pre-planning, you can get four extremely different looks with a single light, very, very, very quickly. What did you think, Shelly? I had fun. I liked all the different pictures. I liked the fact that there was like different lighting every single time, even though, the, like again, there was only two outfits. Every single picture that we took, the lighting setup completely changed what we were doing. And it's only one light. Yeah, exactly. Right? It wasn't rocket science. It's one light. It's just how we manipulated that light and how it affects on, yeah, uh, on Shelly. Yeah, completely different looks each time. We used one modifier, but with different modifiers, different setups, different amounts of bounce, different amounts of fill, you can get a near infinite amount of different lighting setups with just a single light. So it's really important to try and really learn with one light before you go out and buy a second and third. And as you can see with the photos on screen right now, 
just how different these all look. So you can see in this first setup with the hard light and the first outfit, how dramatic that is. And then the second setup with the soft light, how beautiful and painterly that looks. The third setup, how grounded it looks, almost like a window light. And the last setup, it's basically a beauty shot. Well, that was a huge success. And we'd love to see what you guys do in the comments. So be sure to post a link, let us know. Let us know what you think as well of the setups of the shots, the final shots of Shelly. We know she likes it, but we hope you guys do as well. Yeah, we would love to see what you guys do with your own one light setups. Now, before we end the video, I have to apologize. In our last main video, I said that when you double your distance, you have your light. I was wrong. You guys made that very clear in the comments. Some of you more kindly than others. What I meant to say was when you double your distance, you cut your light in a quarter. I've put a little eye card up in the corner during that video to a much better explanation of the inverse square law, which you can also see right now up in the corner. It's a lot more in depth. I apologize for getting it wrong. And he really is sorry. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> so, you know, if you do like this content and you know, please let us know, let's subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you try your own one light setups. Like the video if you liked it. If you don't, still like it. <laughs> and remember, stay, stay creative. creative.